Good morning everybody, John here with Retired Renegade Adventures. This adventure is going to take us on a three-day geological expedition uh, that is being hosted by uh, Mesa Community College and uh, actually get to go around and um, study and do a little uh, geological work. This is going to be pretty different because uh, we've got 20 students Two teachers, two vans running around the Mojave Desert for three days. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I'm well packed. I hope the others are well packed. Um, way back in the day when I was still military, I couldn't get 20 soldiers that are trained to go out and have everything that they need. But plan on having some fun and going to take you guys along the way. So see you in a bit. Well, right now we are in Amboy, California, and this is probably one of the most desolate places that I have ever been in my entire life. Uh, but off in the distance is the uh, Amboy uh, cinder cone that is supposed to be about 70,000 years old. Oh, lava flow right there, but as you can see, this is one desolate spot. Roy's Cafe, that's where we're at. And actually there's a... Huh, up on the highway over here, it has Route 66. And here you have lunch in Amboy. As you can tell, we are on the California section of Route 66 at Roy's Motel and Cafe. It'd be an interesting place to do the motel, but definitely got some buildings falling apart there. This is their post office and their church. And that is about it for Amboy. Yep, we're going off-road, and as I said, what could possibly go wrong with this idea? It's a road that everybody loves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah hang on. Nobody's going to believe this. <laughs> yeah, not with those ones. Okay, so we're here in the trail bite area. And, like lemmings, we're going to follow the leader all the way off the edge. Well, as usual, hiking into where I need to go, and that's okay. There's a left trail, and there's a right trail. And people have gone both directions. So I'm going to take the right trail. Now, from what I understand, is the shale that has come off this lower section right here, that's where the trail trilobites uh, have come off of, but in a quarry area over there. And you can actually see where it is uh, uh, sedimentary has gone. So I can see that layer upon layer trapping the uh, fossils inside. So let's head up. I do have to admit that I am finding a lot of the different stuff that we actually picked up in uh, geology class. 
that so far, except for trail bites. I haven't found that yet. But. This is all the upper layer of mud cake, but that's all mudstone up there. But I think I'm too high for what I'm looking for. Well, we were at the trilobite site and we've been working it a while. Some people have had some pretty good, su good success so far and have found some, and I'll show some a little bit later. But uh, anybody that thinks this is easy work, it uh, is not. So I haven't had any, uh, I haven't found one yet, but if this was easy, everybody would have a trilobite. trilobite. And there is one in every crowd, usually me, coming up and coming down from the uh, cliff face on the other side. So. I found a piece over there that is smaller. EMT training here in Arizona, the first EMT course they offer. And that's how far we are away from the band. It's really pretty area out there. That's a nice, nice view. As we head back to the bands and we move on to our next adventure. Like I said, two sides, we've had some success. Two sides of the same trilobite here. And that would be the top, that would be the bottom. Way cool. And there's been more. So that's really cool. And this is where we're at. It is day two of the geological event and we are all getting ready and waking up and uh, I'm rocking some flannels this morning and it's a gorgeous day. We're going to go cook some breakfast and bring you guys along. See you in a bit. In progress. Right the outside, wrong middle, just like I like them. Because he didn't want to have to cook them. We do eat well on these. What is that? Ash and rock fragments and gases. They can be upwards of 1800 degrees and they can move at up to like 200 miles an hour. So the blobs at 1800. Pretty so this this is what kills all the folks in Pompeii. Everybody know, you know, that's the one kind of we all know. This is what killed everybody in Pompeii. Okay, we're up on Ring Loop right now, and we're looking at some of the uh, petroglyphs. Um, my guess, and it would be kind of a stretch because I'm not sure if this was the Coloradan Indians or Sanagua, but the petroglyphs sort of look like possibly Sanagua. And there's another one further down here that matches the one further up. And then there's some more also. I'm going to go take a look at that. We're way around Ring Loop. There are some amazing formations here. And this is one of the most explosive volcanoes that exploded in North America. This is still on the California side. Uh, this did take place. I believe it was 18 million years ago, but it far exceeded Pompeii as far as the uh, the damage and the pyroclastic blasts and everything. Uh, this is a great uh, trip and opportunity so far uh, to adventure and explore. Check out this perspective. This is pretty amazing. Coming around the other side of uh, Ring Loop and the formations are just crazy. The main trail is up above me on the right hand side, but I'm following a side trail because I saw a nice little, uh, could be used as a shelter, but it's a notch out in the caves right over here. This out.
Wow, this is so cool. Weird. At the rings themselves, which are metal rings on the side of the mountain to assist in climbing. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> Sweet. There it is. And this one's kind of straight up. You're going to have to use the ring actually as a as a pull bar, right? Well, as a stair. Ah. Well, I still hear voices back there, so apparently the people that weren't going to do it are doing it. So we should see them climbing through. The group is making their way up through right now. Is down there. There's other people not part of Oh, the there's Todd. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the view from this side is just amazing. Well worth it. And we're going to continue back to the vans and see what else, the, what other adventures it brings. And this is the whole spirit and, and uh, purpose of adventuring. I'm standing right in front of the back side of uh, the uh, ring loop. And you can see behind me here that this is just crazy. Never stop adventuring. We're going to continue on. Hey, we are at the Kelpo, Kelso Depot Visitor Center, which is where the Kelso sand dunes are. Also, we've got uh, volcano lava tubes further up. Um, really old and interesting buildings. It was a railroad depot. You can see the mountains in the background. The dunes are close, but I'll film those separately. Um, the adventure continues an extremely well-preserved site or at least rebuilt that's kind of cool I wonder if it's still active what the heck I'm up in the uh, Kelso on the upper deck uh, the, the Kelso Park Museum and they have some really nice uh, displays up here of the early age. This was also part of Route 66, part of the California section of it. room that's cool that's a nice old blanket that is way cool okay we're gonna head back down what are they Michael Scott aren't those bombs they are bombs in like I said what could possibly go wrong just only the slightest bit of confusion about where we are and what the hell we're doing but that's okay that's why we're here this goes to go back but it does I've been told it does end dead end down at the other end so I'm gonna head back you've got collapsed areas up here Collapsed areas up here. Hey, wait, wait. Just Collapsed areas there. back there. And then I'll make a picture that says, I don't know what he wants, but I'm freaking out. Make a noise. Exactly. Go right over here and make some noise. Well, I'd love to figure it out. 
Okay, we have gone from walking on lava to walking on sand. Yeah. And we are in the Kelso Dunes. And this is what it looks like. And right here, get a nice virgin area and stomp on it and make it make noise. And... This is supposed to be acoustic sand, is what this we're being told. Okay, let's see if we can make it. Stomp it. And maybe we need to be further up higher too. Yeah, I think so. I think. Lots of little tracks down here. All right, we're going to continue hiking. Yep. Yeah, a little bit. A little hum. A little hum. A little hum. I feel like the land of dinosaur trek here. Uh, as we're following the herd of the the class. We have made the sand sing a little bit. This is very, very fine sand. So, uh, interesting to say the least. The goal, if possible, was to make it to the top of that peak, but we're not going to have enough time. Uh, which is too bad. This may be someplace I have to make my way back to. <laughs> Okay then, in all my years in the military, I always found that sand and snow were the worst to have to hike in. And what am I doing now that I'm in my 60s? Hiking in sand. Well, in the spirit of adventure, I've got to be out of my ever-loving mind. Got more and more to go. I just don't think I'm going to have enough time to make it to that peak. I had to make sure that a couple people didn't uh, die on me on the way back. That fell out, so it's tough going. You can definitely hear my breath. <coughs> okay, onward and upward. We made it to the base, uh, but now I'm talking to the Talking to the video. We made it to the base, but time is running out and we're not going to make it to the top like we wanted to. This is an amazing workout. Uh, I did get the sand to thump and sing and found a whole bag of hematite because this is just filled with uh, metallic filings. So, anyway. The gang is on their way back to the bands. Here's how my morning of day three is starting out. Uh, put a hole through one of the gas tanks on one of the vans off-road. And now I am creating a uh, temporary patch out of slime and duct tape. It's holding so far. We'll see how this goes. But, uh, but every morning has been interesting so far. So stay tuned. Oh, good morning, everybody. Um, the patch is drying, and everybody is breaking up camp. So then we're going to eat breakfast and uh, continue on with even more adventure. So we'll see if that holds. Remember when I said, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, here we are in the middle of the Mojave Desert with uh, one van back at camp with a busted gas tank and now this one is overheated on a dirt trail to nowhere so we're going to add some water to this and see if we can extract ourselves back out of the desert just glad there's not a day four and the, the fan shroud was uh, uh, broken off and hitting the fan so now we got it tied in place and uh, maybe we'll get out of the desert a lot. I'm stuck in the sand. Better and better and better. Woohoo! Well, we have made it at least 
us back to the side of the road. We're going to eat some lunch, as you can see. Make our way back to Blythe and then head home, I hope. I don't even want to begin to chase this by saying nothing else is going to happen. So, got a long way to go still. Good morning. All, th all good things come to an end. That includes this trip, unfortunately. It has been a, a fun trip, amazing trip. Sand dunes, lava tubes, petroglyphs, camping, uh, large, uh, large pyroclastic flows from volcanoes. Um, how much more can you pack into three days? Anyway, great people, great fun. I'm glad you guys came along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, follow me here and on Facebook, and I will see you on the next adventure. Thanks. Bye now.